Hello, my name is Lala Kandaurova. I'm a Moscow-based music journalist, writer on music and public lecturer on classical music. I was a classically trained musician and I devoted to this wonderful profession two decades of my life. Uh, I graduated from Moscow State Tchaikovsky Conservatory and I started my career as a violinist in a number of chamber ensembles and in uh, some of the most prestigious symphony orchestras in Russia. But then when I was in my mid-twenties, I made a different career choice and I devoted myself to music journalism. And in the last 10 years or so, I've been busy in all kinds of projects combining music and spoken and written word, uh, doing interviews, writing articles, mm, doing all kinds of cultural commentary, uh, hosting a YouTube channel, uh, performing with lectures and public talks and music appreciation and so on. Um, I've written a book. Well, basically I've written two books. My first book was a big collection on, uh, of essays on classical music for adults. Uh, and this is a book entitled simply How to Listen to Music. Uh, that is aimed at school children, um, teenagers, aged 12 to 16, 11 to 15, whatever. Um, this book is a very short, as you can see, several hundred pages, um, guide to classical music for complete beginners. Uh, for those who consider themselves to be ground zeros, who consider themselves to be at the elementary level of uh, the beautiful the fascinating uh, knowledge of how to be a highly qualified, creative, unbiased, open-minded music listener, of how to switch from consuming music to actually um, listening to it, reading it, like you could read a book. Um, the book has five parts. Uh, the first part is a collection of rules that a good listener has to bear in mind. The second is a reminder of why we actually listen to music. What is this mysterious magnet, this astounding force that appeals to millions and millions of very different people? Uh, the third is an ABC of music dealing with the most basic concepts of melody, harmony, rhythm, uh, polyphony, uh, and so on, musical form. Um, the fourth is a short history of music, very succinct, but yet almost complete, um, starting from the Gregorian chant in the Middle Ages and ending with some of the avant-garde experiments of the late 20th century, including all the big classical names and experimental electronic music and opera and uh, uh, Renaissance polyphony and so on. And the fifth part, which is largely speculative, uh, deals with what classical music is today, maybe no longer so very classical, um, how it interacts with technology, how it interacts with the changes in our society that have been apparent in the last um, uh, years, in the last decade, and what classical music will be tomorrow, what is the future of classical music. The special feature of this book is uh, the QR codes that we have right here. So using their mobile phone, every listener could directly uh, follow a link and listen to the music that we're describing here. Um, I hope that this book, which is actually, of course, not only for children, it will do quite nicely for a person of any age, big or small, who wants to start their journey towards this amazing and diverse cosmos of sound, I hope that it will be a stepping stone for something that will later turn into a real and serious love story for life. Thank you.